Hi everyone, my name is Blake Bejarano, and today I'm going to give a quick overview on using CoCalc's AI Assistant functionality. Here you can see I'm at CoCalc.com. I'm gonna head over to My Projects, select the project that I'd like to work inside of, or create a new one. Here's my project. And now I'm going to create a new Jupyter Notebook using the plus new button over on the left-hand side. And then I can select the AI help me write this functionality right underneath Jupyter Notebook, and maybe I wanna name this thing Predator versus Prey. And here I can go ahead and select that AI help me write functionality. Choose the large language model that I'd like to utilize, GPT, Gemini, Mistral, or Claude 3. They're both free and premium models to take advantage of. And the premium models are all metered per token, so you can be really cost effective in that capacity. Here I'll go ahead and choose GPT-4 Omni 8K. I'll select the kernel that I'd like my, my notebook to utilize. Here I'll, I'll go ahead and use Python 3 system wide. And I could say something like, create me a script that plots a predator prey model for coyotes versus rabbits and use IPy widgets to make the plot interactive. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and create that. You can see the estimated cost. And this is a custom notebook that is generated based off of what I'd asked for. And now I can save the notebook. You can see I do indeed have these nice little sliders that I can interact with in real time with my collaborators inside of CoCalc's Jupyter Notebook interface. This is a custom implementation that our CEO and founder William Stein had made over the last couple of weeks. So really excited about this. Maybe I wanna ask a question about this notebook and elaborate on some things. I can go ahead and click on the AI assistant functionality here. Maybe I want to say, uh, give the relevant LaTeX equations for the model. Now it's gonna use the side chat and it's gonna produce these LaTeX equations. Now maybe you wanna create a text box and I can go ahead and copy this paste it over. You can see I get my nice LaTeX equations and it gives a nice overview of each of the variables in that sense. So that's pretty nice. The other thing that I could say too, maybe I don't understand what's going on in a particular cell. I can click on the AI assistant functionality here and I can go ahead and have that code cell explained. Ask, it's gonna give me a step-by-step -step overview of how exactly that script was created, what each of the variables, components, and packages do. So here's that explanation. Also, if I get an error, I can say, hey, help me fix this. It will help me identify what went wrong with my code, get things back up and running again in no time. And the other thing that I'd say is that it's as document aware, at least as much as you'd like it to be. You can have a selection of cells, particular cell, all of them or none of them. And maybe just for fun here, I could go ahead and select all of these and say, give a overview of the history of the model. And here's that history of the model that's being used. And I can even elaborate on this a little bit more. So I could reply to this thread and I could say, give more personal details about Latka. So this is just a quick overview on some of the AI assistant functionalities inside of the platform, specifically for Jupyter Notebooks today, but of course I'll be making some more videos here in the near future. Like, subscribe, follow us for more, and I appreciate your time. Thanks again, see you next time.